Talk about my rest. I said nothing. I can't even tell you about where I'm going to be. Go to ChadSpermTerry.net. I got to get to this right away. You know. All right, it's Monday. Welcome to the Chaz Palminteri Show. I know I sound pissed off, and I am. Usually I start off, I'm happy. I tell you, you know, it's Monday, 11 o'clock. I tell you where I'm appearing. I, I don't give a fuck right now. I don't care about nothing. John, I don't give a fuck right now. I don't care about anything. Uh, go to ChazPalminteri.net. Come to my restaurants. I, I can't even talk right now. I saw this TikTok. You know when I talk about, you know how I talk about uh, America, New York, and I don't talk politics, but they're bringing me into this. They're bringing me into it because I can't take it anymore. I can't fucking take it. I want you people to see this. Tell me how you feel. Am I crazy? You know, that's my thing. Am I fucking crazy? If I am, please tell me. And I try to, John, play that thing before I go crazy here. You came to the United States to work, and I came to vacation. Look at the difference. She is the one that maintains me. That is why I don't work, because the government gives her what belongs to her, to my daughter, for being an American citizen. Capiche? I have no need to work because, well, guys, like few of you, this little princess for being American, already receives a lot of money. Capiche? He's laughing in our face. That's exactly what he's doing. The man is laughing in our face. Capiche, his daughter was born here. Now he thinks he's an American citizen. He says, and what does he say about the border? The border's not closed. It's wide open. He's encouraging more people. He's encouraging come. more people. Now, what the hell did he say about the people? Though That kid, that 15-year-old kid... Who shot, who shot at the cops, he said, we sh he said they should pay his bail. Yeah, he's he starting, said that. He's trying to get people on TikTok to go He's trying to get bail. people on TikTok to pay this kid's bail who shot at the two police officers. And the guys who beat up the police officers, he's trying to get their bail. The Venezuelan migrant urged his followers to protest to free the Times Square shooter. Necesitamos pagar la fianza. Pichi, que hoy cometió un error. Inocentemente, porque es un niño de tan solo 15 años. Folks, I, 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 uh, man, I, I don't know what to say here. I, I don't know what to say. Are we all stupid? Are we all crazy? This has got to end. It's got to end, folks. Come on. Please. You know, we talk about Social Security and, and welfare. We talk about, uh, uh, Medicare, that it's all going to be gone by the year 2030. All you got to do is stop paying all these illegal people coming in and put it in that pot where the Americans are. Social Security, what? Would they spend $150 million or billion? Put it for Americans. So all these people that are living in 65, 75, 85 can't collect welfare. Don't you realize there are people in this world that have to have welfare, that that's how they survive? I said this before on another podcast. I don't like to talk politics, but I can't stand around and just watch this happening. Well, and how I, about this? In his next video, he's literally holding up his daughter, and he says, I have no need to work because for this little princess being American, already receives a lot of money. Capiche? The trick is to have children in the United States. Here is the gold mine. The gold mine. And he's oh, if you think we're lying, watch it. Put it on. If you think we're making it up, put it on. Go ahead. Watch this. The trick is to have children in the United States. Here is the gold mine. The gold mine. Holding his daughter up and calling her a gold mine. Okay? You saw it. I didn't make it up. I'm not making anything up. You saw what he said. The other video, we told, you saw that first video, talked about the NYPD. Please tell me, folks. I I'll listen. I'm a rational man. I'm an independent, common sense voter. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. 
I believe these two parties just look out for themselves, and that's it. Who looks out for us? Who looks out for us? Does anybody look out for us? If they could have a candidate that could just look out for us, I don't understand what's going on. Could we get a more moderate candidate? That's all I'm saying. I don't agree with both sides on a lot of issues. I, I, I don't understand it. I, I, I don't understand it. Is, could there anybody could anybody be a you know a conservative but have some progressive ways? Could anybody be a progressive and have some conservative ways? <laughs> Bill Clinton was one. You know. Bill Clinton will be run out of the out of government today as a conservative, really. I mean, Obama. Obama used to talk about about a country without borders is not a country. Obama de- deported more more people than anybody. What what are we doing? What what are we doing here? Well, what do you think the deeper meaning to this is? I don't understand it. Who's it helping? Well, he's saying that he he thinks he's a citizen now. He could vote. And they're getting green cards. They're getting licenses. That sooner or later they're going to make them vote. I, they're buying votes. I mean, what else could it be? I don't know what else it could be. It really makes no sense either that or cheap labor or maybe both. Cheap labor, but you're hurting Americans. Do you imagine? Do you just imagine? If we spent all the money that we used on the illegal immigrants, on welfare, Social Security, our veterans, homeless people in America, think about that. Think about, what is it, $200 billion maybe? If we spent money on that, we would. what this country would be would be amazing. It would be unbelievable. Why is it? Why do they want to keep us down? Why? Why do you want to keep us fighting between ourselves? Why? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You know, it's like a feint. You know, look to the left, don't look at the right. You know, take everybody's money in the middle. I don't know. I read somewhere that it would only cost the United States $20 billion to fix the homeless problem. $20 billion. Yeah, and I'm saying only. I know it's a lot of money, but only in comparison to everything else we're giving out. $20 million. What is that? It's like a fart from a cow. It's nothing. Come on. You know why they don't fix it, John? I've said it before. Because there's people who run these homeless shelters and, and they run these organizations for the homeless that if they fix the homeless, they don't have a job. So they don't want to fix it. They want to keep it going. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. I really do. I mean, could they get somebody? Just fix it. Let's start off with New York. New York, the greatest city in the world. I love New York. You see it now? I see people taking a shit in the street. On 61st and Madison Avenue, I was in a car, and my driver said, look, over there. And I looked, and this man was taking a dump on 61st and Madison. And he had a roll of toilet paper in his left hand, and he was wearing a poncho. So you couldn't see, but he was squatting, and we're we're looking at this guy. I, you know, this is in New York City, 61st and Madison. It's a good neighborhood, folks. You know, we're not we're not talking about Times Square on some back alley. You know? And now you got these people, these immigrants. Look, let me be clear. I've I said it again, I'll say it a hundred times. It's okay to be an immigrant, come to this country, do it the right way. I don't give a hell how many come in, do it the right way, so we could vet you properly and know who you are. Because this is gonna come home to roost. Mark my words. I pray that there is not another 9-11 or some kind of tragedy. I mean, I don't understand. We're all these people we're letting in, and we don't, they're not vetted. I don't get it. I don't get it. How could we do this? 
And everybody blames everybody. Every party blames the other party. You know, it's like when you, you have something wrong with your television, you say, well, who was the electrician who put it in? Well, it's his fault. Electrician says, no, it's his fault, the one who put it in. That's a typical name, you know, blame the other party. Could it, somebody, could somebody get New York in order? I, I thought Mayor Adams was going to do it. I, 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 I believe in him. Uh, I, he was an ex-cop. Uh, voted for him. But I, I think sometimes he's between a rock and a hard place. And his hands are tied. You know, I, I don't know what the answer is. But you can't allow people to come into this country and then make videos and abuse us. You just saw the two videos. You saw them. I didn't make this up. Okay, I didn't make this up. This is not, you know, the media when they lie. This is real. I, I just showed you. So all I'm saying to you is, as an independent, common sense voter, what do we do? What do we do? I mean, I don't know, man. What are some other of those facts you have, John? So the one that I read this week was kind of nuts. So in the United States, first of all, maternity leave isn't mandatory. But when it is, and it's provided by your company, they only get um, 12 weeks of unpaid job protection. Whereas um, what I read this week was any illegal immigrant in their third trimester will be able to stay in the Roosevelt Hotel until their baby is six months old. For free. For free. While still getting their paycheck. Still getting paid. Yes, still getting paid. For doing no work. So they get more time and more money. And a U.S. citizen gets less time and no money. Just job protection. Did you hear that? Did you hear what John Lewan just said? More money. More money. And they can can keep it longer. Where Americans get no money. And they got to get back to work sooner. Is that fair? Am I crazy? You know what my my saying, am I crazy? Tell me. Is that fair? Well, I also read this thing that went side by side with this, was that if we motivated our citizens to have more children, we'd have an economic boom because there'd be more babies being born. And we're in a time right now where there's less babies being born than ever because people can't afford it. People are afraid. People have to work while they're pregnant. It's insane. You have to work while they're pregnant. Meanwhile, an illegal, illegal immigrant gets paid for breaking the law, but Americans get punished. They're on a vacation, quote unquote. <sighs> so they come here and they want to have more ba- yeah, it, it, It's It's better for them, beneficial if they have more babies. Every time they have another baby, they get another paycheck. So what's going to happen? We created people who are dependent on the government. And that's what the government wants. Does somebody have something against us here? Do our politicians have something against us? Please, somebody tell me. How could it be where these politicians, where Nancy Pelosi, you know, I think the salary for these people are 200000 a year, I think, John. What could be the salary for Speaker of the House? Or a typical senator. About 250, something like that. Can't be more than that. Two, 250? A speaker of the house? That's somewhere close to 200,000. Somewhere at- close to 200,000. And for a regular senator, what's the uh, salary for a senator? It's around the same. same around $200,000 a year. Okay. Answer me this. How could people who make $200,000 a year you know, I mean, it's a nice paycheck, but it's not like, oh, my God. How could they retire? Each one of them, not less than $200 million. How does that happen? I got to tell you, that bunch of savers, boy. They got that big piggy bank and they put it away. How do you think they do it? I'll tell you how they do it. Inside of trading, that's how they do it. Well, Nancy Pelosi has a better track record than Warren Buffett. That's right. I read that where Nancy Pelosi has a better track record than Warren Buffett. 
I'm not just saying Democrats, Republicans too. They retire multimillionaires. George Carlin, the genius, genius of a comic, he said it. It's a big club and you ain't in it. That's right, we're not in it. And meanwhile, Martha Stewart, who's a wonderful woman, goes to jail for six months, I think it was, right? I believe so. But she stand up. She kept her mouth shut, let me tell you. She's got a lot of street cred. A lot of street cred. You put her in jail for six months while you all do the same thing and make millions and billions for it. You think that's right? Ah, that's not right. I don't know. If I, if I ever did an inside trading, I, I'd be, uh, you know, I'd be in jail, my hands behind my back. One of us go down to Times Square and start beating up a cop. You know what happened to us? We'd be in Rikers Island in about two minutes. But other people could beat up a cop. Illegal immigrants could beat up a cop, and they get off. They get off. How is this, how, how is this possible? You beat up New York's finest. And you get off? Bragg. You know who you are, Mr. Bragg. How do you allow that to happen? How? I'm sure you're married, you have children. How would you feel like if your kids, God forbid, got hurt by an illegal alien? You would feel terrible. I would feel terrible. These people who are killed by illegal aliens deported five, ten times. And then they're back here? Am I crazy? Am I being out of line? I don't know. You know, it's crazy. One of our mutual friends was talking about this before, and I'm not going to say who it was, but they also go to the actor's studio, and they said for the first time ever, they were told that they have to keep their phones in their pockets or in their purses around the actor's studio because people are snatching them up so quickly. Really? They said the area over there is getting so dangerous. <sighs> I mean... <clears throat> so, so that's what you do. Keep your phone put away. How about having police? Folks, we got to have police. There are evil people in this world. Evil people who want to do us harm, who want to take what you have. They look at us and they're jealous and angry. And they want to take what we have. Okay? And they don't care. They don't care. There's evil people. There's child molesters, thieves, robbers, violent people out there. What is that great quote by, uh, I can't remember the gentleman's name, but I want to give him credit. But he said, for evil to exist, all it has to be is good men do nothing. Do nothing. That's all you have to do. You know me. I, 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 this, I, I've had this podcast going on three years now. I never talk about, never talk about politics. I, I like my podcast to be fun and talk about success. And, and uh, the saddest thing in life is wasted talent and, and self-help. I try to encourage people to do good, but I mean, sometimes enough is enough now. I, I, I can't keep my mouth shut any longer, especially watching, watching my friends in, in the police force and a great deal of friends I have. I'll have a lot of them. P police are retiring early. Police are just fed up. The hands are tied. I mean, you don't want to help the city out? You don't want to help the city out? You don't want to help the people of New York out? To all the mayors all over the United States and all the DAs? This thing about getting rid of the police? How insane is this? That's insane. Do you understand that? It's insane. Let's get rid of the police. I don't know. 
let's get rid of the police. And and who's gonna who's gonna like protect us from these evil people that are out there? I I I'm confused with that, you know? I really am. I, I just wish that we could get somebody to run that just cares about the people and not cares about being reelected. That's why you really gotta have um term limits, John. You gotta have term limits. The president has two term limits. They should extend that to the whole government. You shouldn't be a senator for 50 years. You make too many connections. You're too powerful. No good. Two terms, go out, get a job. Let's live like the real people. Two terms. That's it. No longer than that. Everybody should get two terms. This way you can't build enough cheating on inside trading or doing something. I believe that. I mean, the, the founding fathers, they said it. The founding fathers, they said it. That they, their greatest fear was that the parties would believe that they were more powerful and were more important than the people. And that's what happened to this country. Democrats and Republicans, both, folks. Both. I, both, I have a bone to pick with both sides. I don't favor one or the other. Both sides. I'm just trying to speak for the people. People who are on, who need social security to live, who depend on that to live. There are people who depend on that. You know how many people in retirement in Florida who depend on that check every month? Medicare, they depend on that. They work their whole lives and put that money in. And now you want to make a statement, well, by 2031, we could be broke. No, no, we're not. No, we're not broke, folks. Instead of spending $150 million on immigrants, take $50 million and put it into Social Security and Medicare. And Medicare. Instead of sending $200 billion to Ukraine, Send $150 billion and put another $50 billion into our system. Very simple. I could solve it like that. Right? How about our homeless? How about our veterans? Every man, you want to do something really great? Every veteran, every veteran who served this country should get a home. How's that? Should get a home free of charge. Free of charge, should get a home. How's that? You want to spend the money wisely, the government money? Give every American free at home. You know, pay their mortgage off. Give them something. Come on. Are you kidding? What is the problem with that? You want to really do something? They get a home tax-free. They, they pay no property tax their whole life. The government pays for it. How's that? You know how country you know how great the government can make this country? You have any idea? People would be dying to sign up for the military. We would get the best of the best. When you when you finish your military service and serve this country, you're gonna get a free home and free property taxes. Okay? I mean, think about that. What are we doing helping people that are ungrateful? Like these guys in the video. What are we doing? I don't know. I, I'm upset, folks. I hope I didn't offend anybody. Maybe I did. You want to hear something scary? And this is coming right from the Social Security Administration government website. Yeah, go ahead. It says Social Security estimates that based on the current law in 2041 the trust funds will be completely depleted 2041 2041 well again we could fix that in 30 seconds john take 50 billion and put it in <laughs> let's let's help americans who work their whole lives let's help medicare let's help the veterans let's help our homeless our homeless I'm sorry, their cash will run out by 2033. Yeah, but okay, thank you. But I have a question. 
You see what they're doing for the for the illegal immigrants? Why don't they do that for America's homeless? Why didn't they do it for them? They've been homeless all these years. We've been dealing with homelessness. All these de- years we've been dealing with uh, veterans who are homeless. And regular people. Are, why don't we put them in hotels? Why don't we give them money? Why don't we give them a debit card? Why not? Why are we doing it here? You want to do it later? Fine. Do it to our country first. To our people. Is that wrong? Am I crazy? Tell me. Because uh, I, I think this is my last episode on politics because I'm just, I'm just fed up. And it, yeah, I don't, and it doesn't put me in a good mood. I like talking about, you know, about, about wasted talent and about helping people. But I, I just can't keep my mouth shut now, sitting around and watch this. You know. I saw a video of this homeless veteran who was being interviewed, and they said, um, they said, how does it feel um, that these illegal immigrants are getting housing and shelter and money? And he's like, it feels like a slap in the face. This is essentially the government saying, this is what we could have given you. There you go. I just said that. Yeah. This is what we could have given you, but we didn't. I've been to Walter Reed Hospital, folks. I've been there. Okay, and I've seen these guys, 19, 20 years old, no legs, up to their hips, and one arm. I've seen them all there. And the government doesn't know if they're going to pay their health insurance for two folks. Come on. Come on. To see these veterans in Walter Reed Hospital that burns, no legs, no arms, no hands, blind, brain damaged. We don't buy them home. Thank God. Let me tell you something. And I say it, I said it once, I'm going to say it again. We we have to go to the charity, a tunnel to tower, that great that's a great charity, folks. If you want to donate to a charity, you donate to Tunnel to Towers. Something like ninety four percent of all the money goes to the people, okay, the the women who lost their husbands or the husbands who lost their wives in the war. It's a great charity. We have have to donate. People have to put in $20 a month, which is great. But the government government can't subsidize that? It can't help them? But we help illegal immigrants, but we can't help tunnel to towers? I, I don't know. I don't know, folks. Anyway, I'm not in a good mood right now. I'm sorry if this was a very depressing podcast. Well, depressing, but not depressing, because I just had to get it off my chest. You know, you know, my heart goes out to all law enforcement all over this country who has to, you know, do their job and feel like second-class citizens. I think that's crazy. And I always tell people, in the middle of the night when somebody's banging on the door, you see how fast you love those police. You see how fast you pick up that phone and dial 911. You see how fast you do it. Go ahead. Go call your friends there. See if they were going to come over and help you. And the amazing thing about law enforcement is, you know what's really amazing about them? They don't care and they show up anyway. And they risk their lives to protect yours. And you don't want to help them out? Come on. Wake up, folks. Wake up. This country has to wake up before it's too late. I hope it's not. This is Chaz Palminteri, and I will see you next week. And I promise I will be in a better mood. God bless.